community closely following contract negotiations between thousands of teachers and the second biggest school district in the state. We have new developments tonight on a tentative agreement as kids headed to class on this first day of school. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Spokane teachers will vote on that contract tonight. And we're learning pay raises may have something to do with a $12 million deficit in the Spokane Public Schools budget. KXY 4's Taylor Graham working for you tonight to break down those numbers and what it means for the school. Taylor? Well, there's a $22 million jump in spending money from what was projected in June to what the school board approved last night. That difference could have something to do with an agreement reached between the district and the teachers union this week. Blanco. The first day of school brings Blanco. new teachers and a new budget just approved by the school board last night. Here's where things stand. The 2018 to 2019 budget accounts for $452.4 million in revenue, but $465 million in expenditures. It's a much different picture than back in June, when budget projections had the district bringing in $452.8 million, spending $442.7 million. A $10 million surplus projected, compared to today's $12.6 million shortfall. To offset the deficit, the district plans to draw on its $39 million reserve fund, but that'll only last for so long. Spokane Public Schools will have to make tough calls in the years to come. Obviously, you can draw on reserves up for one time, but it doesn't work as a sustainable method all the way along through, through multiple years, because at some point you run out of reserves to draw on. So how did the district get here? Spokane Public Schools wouldn't comment on if the new budget picture had to do with its tentative salary agreement with the teachers union. We want to make sure that we preserve that process and let the teachers have a chance to look at it and take the action that they're going to take. The union has been fighting for pay raises for weeks. The state Supreme Court McCleary decision set aside nearly $30 million to fund basic education in Spokane. The union made the push for that money to go towards salary raises for certificated and classified staff. And if the $22 million difference in expenditures from June to August is any indication, Spokane teachers could soon be proud owners to big pay raises. And we are hoping to learn more about the details of that salary agreement tonight when the teachers union holds its meeting to ratify their new contract. Nadine. And Taylor, where and when is this vote happening tonight? Well, teachers will meet at 7 o'clock tonight at Shadow Park High School, and we're hoping to have an update for you tonight on KXLY4 Nightside at 11. All right, thank you for that, Taylor. After